Thank you so much for choosing ThinkBoard. Soon, you'll be installing ThinkBoard like a pro. There are three main problems that people come across when installing ThinkBoards. The first is fresh paint, the second is stain release paint, and the third is kind of textures in the wall. So fresh paint off gases. There's literally air coming out of your walls and pushing think boards off the wall. It'll flap and it'll crumple and it'll kind of cause a mess. So be careful of that. Number two is stain release paint. Stain release paint makes it so that nothing sticks to the wall, which means think board might not stick to the wall. You might want to avoid that as well. Number three is textures and bumps, tape, artwork, whatever it is that might be on the wall before you install your think board. You just want to make sure that the wall is wiped down, is clean, and good to go before you begin. If anything happens to your ThinkBoard at all, shoot us a message, send us an email, give us a call, and we'll hook you up, we'll send you a replacement right away. All right, let's get started. Feel free to skip to any section that is relevant to you, but if you wanna watch everything and become a real pro, we recommend that too. The first step is to clean your surface thoroughly. Use the microfiber cloth to remove any dust and a fingernail to remove any bumps or tape. Next, grab your think board and peel back the liner. Grab the corners, line it up to your desired position. Then, touch the corners down gently so that the board doesn't fall down. The best method we found for getting a good adhesion is the cross method. You'll want to use the included cloth to press down the center of the think board, vertically first and then horizontally. Push outwards from the vertical line, making the cross. This will help set the maximum boundaries of the board. Make sure to avoid stretching the think board. If the board doesn't naturally lay out the way you expected, gently peel it back off and reposition it. Once you've got the cross set up, you can just slowly and methodically with overlapping strokes, smooth out the rest of the board from the center to the edges. Make sure every stroke overlaps because if you don't overlap, you'll leave an air bubble. And with that, you're ready to start throwing your ideas, to-do lists, and drawings on the wall. With larger think boards, it's often easier for two people to get a cleaner install. So grabbing a friend is a great idea. The first step is to clean your surface thoroughly. Using the microfiber cloth included with your purchase, make sure the wall is free of bumps, scratches, or dust. Next, Get a general sense of placement you'd like for your ThinkBoard. And make sure the walls offer enough space. For the best results, with the help of a friend, you'll want to peel off your ThinkBoard as you roll it out along the wall. Have one person pull the lining off while the other person supports the roll and gently taps the ThinkBoard and its adhesive to the wall to prevent it from falling. Check the position of the board, adjust accordingly, and gently press down on the top two corners to keep the ThinkBoard on the wall. Then, grab your included squeegee. The best method we found for installing your think boards under 10 feet is the cross method. Use the included squeegee to press down the center of the think board, vertically first and then horizontally. Push outwards from the vertical line, making the cross. This will help set the maximum boundaries of the board. If the board doesn't lay out the way you expected, gently peel it back off and try again. Be cautious and avoid stretching the think board. This will cause bumps and bubbles in the material, and we don't want those. Once you've got the cross set up, you can just slowly and methodically with overlapping squeegee strokes, smooth out the rest of the board from the center to the edges. Make sure every stroke overlaps because if you don't overlap, you'll leave an air bubble behind. And with that, you're ready to start visualizing everything you're thinking about. With larger think boards, it's often easier for two people to get a clean install. So grabbing a friend is a great idea for this job. The first step is to clean your surface thoroughly, using the microfiber cloth to wipe down your walls and a fingernail to pick at any of the bumps will do. Next, get a general sense of the placement you'd like for your think board and make sure the wall offers enough space. With the think board this long, it helps to measure out the height at which you want the board to hang. Make a few marks across the length of the wall to give yourself a visual guide for placement. With the help of a friend, you'll want to peel off your think board as you roll it out along the wall. Touch the think board to the wall as you unroll to keep it in place. You will probably need to adjust your think board's position once it's rolled out. Next, grab your included squeegee. Squeegee a vertical line down the center of the think board, 
and then begin moving from that center line to the outer edges, one foot at a time. Make sure every stroke overlaps to avoid creating air bubbles underneath the think board. Once the edges are smooth, you're ready to start throwing your ideas to do lists and drawings on the wall. The first step is to clean your surface. The smoother a surface is, the cleaner you'll want it to be. The reason for this is because on a smoother surface, every little imperfection is that much more noticeable. Using water and a cloth should get the job done. Before applying the think board, after cleaning the surface, you'll want to spray a bit of water on your placement area. Why water? On a super smooth surface like glass, the adhesive will stick very well, but this can make it difficult to adjust as you squeegee. The water acts as a lubricant. It allows the board to move a little as you install your think board. As you squeegee, the water underneath will travel from beneath the board out to the sides. Water bubbles get pushed right out. Using the cross method, you'll want to squeegee down the center of the think board, first vertically and then horizontally. This will establish the maximum boundaries of the board. Once you've got the cross down and the position just right, smooth out the rest of the board from those center lines with your cloth. Make sure to overlap each stroke so as to avoid air bubbles. Clean it up, and with that, you're ready to go.